Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos published in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or in the internet. In the last few episodes of Know Your Mind segment, we have been speaking about the first level of the human mind, the conscious mind. In this episode, we begin our analysis of the second level of the human mind, the subconscious mind, by focusing on its constituents. Unlike the conscious mind, subconscious mind is not in the state of awareness. It is basically responsible for recording events gathered through five sensory organs, producing thoughts and emotions, and providing habits or autopilot programs to the conscious mind. Hence, the subconscious mind is constituted of five parts. Memory bank, sensory input controller, storage for habits or autopilot programs, thought generator, and emotion generator. We briefly consider each of them. First, memory bank. This is the place where all information gathered through your sense organs and thoughts and emotions generated in and through your real life experiences are stored. Memory bank can remember thoughts, emotions, information and actions when they are extreme, divergent, relational, and memorized by repetition or rehearsal. Of these four ways of remembering, the extreme and divergent ones are easily remembered as they involve mind-body interactions which lead to deep attention and visualization which makes you remember these experiences easily. That is why when you try to recall your childhood experiences, you will remember mostly those experiences that created in you extreme or divergent emotions and thoughts such as happiness, sadness, nervousness or excitement. Remembering relational thoughts are easier than the ones memorized by repetition. For example, if you know the spelling of the words nation and as, it is easy for you to learn the spelling of the word assassination because it is made up of twice the word as and an I and then the word nation. Thus, relational information is easier to recall than the information you learned by rote learning by repetition. We will explore this point further later when we deal with the role of subconscious mind in learning and recalling. Second, sensory input controller. Sensory input controller gathers sensory inputs such as image, sound, sensation and smell from your outer world experiences through your five sense organs. Of these four types of sensory inputs, you can think only in terms of images and sounds. While sensation and smell can only be felt on real time in the context of your experiences, the sensory input controller performs four basic tasks with the sensory inputs it gains through your senses. It sends sensory information to the memory bank. It presents you with sensory inputs when you are in an engaged state of mind. It provides feedback for thought generation and it provides feedback for feeling generation. Third, storage for habits or autopilot programs. Habits or autopilot programs are developed through repeated actions or rehearsals. Habit may be good or bad, 
but only the conscious mind can discriminate between good or bad habits. But for the subconscious mind, habits are just habits, neither good nor bad. You learning a language such as English or German is an autopilot program. Through repetition and rehearsals, you recognize the alphabets, then recognize words, then learn sentences and over a period of time master the language. Conscious mind begins the process, but subconscious mind stores everything you learn and helps recalling. Likewise, developing skills is an autopilot program. To develop skills, the subconscious mind identifies habits that need to be unlearned, develops a filter to reject habits that need change, and provides new habits to learn the skill. Many life-controlling programs that keep the body and mind alive and active are also autopilot programs. The subconscious mind maps to the conscious mind to run them consciously. But for the most part, the subconscious mind controls and runs them. Fourth, thought generator. Thoughts are either structured or unstructured. When you think knowingly and consciously, thoughts are said to be structured. When thoughts occur in the subconscious level without conscious thinking, they are said to be unstructured. Whether structured or unstructured, thought generator produces and generates thoughts by taking information from the memory bank and sensory input controller with the help of autopilot storage. Fifth, feeling generator. Unlike thoughts, feelings are real-time sensations you have in the context of real-time experiences. Feeling generator takes input from the sensory organs to produce feelings. Hence, you experience feelings as related to one or the other organs of the body. Often you experience feelings in association with thoughts. For the nature of your thoughts determine the quality of your feelings. A positive thought makes you feel happy, joyful or peaceful, but a negative thought makes you feel sad, angry or worried. We will continue our analysis of the subconscious mind in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.